Happy morning children. How are you all? Let's begin our day with a thought. Success is the sum of small efforts repeated day in and day out. Means you have to keep on trying continuously until and unless you don't reach your goal. That means small small things. Studies for example we will take studies. So studies you have to study every day so that when your exams come there is no need to study you know everything because you are daily revising the things taught in the class let us take another example with a game if you want to learn cycling do you learn it in one day itself no you learn it slowly Every day you keep on practicing, practicing, practicing and finally you learn how to ride a bicycle. So in the similar way, anything you want to learn, anything you want to achieve, you have to have practice, practice and practice. Our topic 3 of lesson 9 in grammar section is WH questions. Now we are going to play a questionnaire, a game. I am going to ask you questions and you are going to reply it. Okay, are you ready for the questionnaire? Here we go. Okay, here is the first one. What are you doing now? Are you sleeping? <laughs> are you eating? Are you studying? Yes. Yuppie, this has to be the right one. Or are you playing or fidgeting with things around? So, the answer is I am studying or teacher along with studying, I am eating because I didn't have my breakfast. But not with sleeping and playing. Okay. The next question is, when do you study? Do you study in the morning? Do you study in the afternoon? Do you study in the evening? Or do you study in the night? So everyone might be having different answers for this question. Okay, so when do you study? The next question is, where do you live? Do you live in a garden or do you live in a house? Yuppie! And everyone's answer to the question, where do you live, is I live in a house. The next question is, which is your favorite color? Yellow, green, blue. Or pink. So you can tell me your favorite color. Now I am going to show you something which you really like. It might be even your favorite. Who is he? Oh, who is he? You might guess him. Wow, yes, he is Harry Potter. Now you have answered all my questions correct. The WH words ask us questions. They are special words and these words always begin in a capital letter and ends with a question mark. So the special words or the WH words when they are asking us questions they always begin with a capital letter and ends with a question mark. Now let us look at some more examples with the WH questions. Here are a few of them. Let us first check whether all the rules are correct. The first one is it begins with a capital letter. So all the words are these magic words are beginning with a capital letter. It ends with a question mark. So all the sentences are ending with a question mark. Now. The rules are proper. Now we try to understand each question. Who has made this drawing is the first question. Now in this question, 
who is specifically asking about a person. So whenever we use who, we generally ask about a person. The second one is, what have you got for lunch? <clears throat> what have you got for lunch? So generally, we use what when we have to talk about some objects or some things. So you can have a variety of items you get for lunch. The third one is, when does the plant become a tree? Now, when is generally used for time. So whenever any time specific question is there, we use when. So when does the plant become a tree? The fourth one, where are you going? Now, where is generally used to talk about places? So, where are you going? Will be the place which you have to answer me. The last one is why. <clears throat> why means you have to give a reason. Whenever we use why, we give a reason for it. So, why are you late? There should be a reason for it. Okay. Now, children, these are only WH questions. Along with these questions, many other words are also there which can ask us a question, which can be used to ask a question also. So, don't stick to only the WH questions. It can be many, many more. And when we were talking about it in the class, you gave me n number of examples for other question words or other special words which ask questions. So all these WH questions rules are cleared with you? Yes, I know they are and you have enjoyed the class. Now let us check whether we have understood the concept of WH questions by playing a small quiz. So it's a quiz time. The first question is now you have to think about the special words, okay? Dash, are you going? Okay, a right guess. Where are you going? Because it's asking about a place. The second one. Dash is your best friend. So, it is asking about a person. So, which word are we going to use? Yuppie! We are going to use who. Very good. The third one. Dash is your name. So, we are asking about a special thing or a special object. What is your name? Okay. The next one is Dash is your favorite ice cream flavor. So, here we are using something different. Did you guess it? Yes, it is which is your favorite ice cream color. Very smart class I have got. And the last one is Dash, do you celebrate your birthday? Now, it is asking us the time. So, we use the word when, the magic word when. Do you celebrate your birthday? So, bye for now. See you later. Be safe. Be happy. Always keep smiling.